teams learned very early in the competition how to structure a match week so that if they had a positive test on the Tuesday test day, that positive test had very little impact on the team. So let me take you through this, the, the, the hot process and how it works. Teams play on a Saturday. They then test 48 hours after the game. The reason why we test 48 hours after the game is that NRCD contact tracing guidelines stipulate that if you have a positive test, you need to contact trace back 48 hours from that positive test. So in order to remove match day from the equation, we test on a Tuesday, 48 hours after the game. What this then means is, is that on a Monday, teams come together, but they can't train normally. So all they do is a flash out and they do that socially distanced. And after that, they go home. Tuesday is then a test day. Most teams come in on Tuesday morning test and then they send their players home to, for the day off until they get those test results back. When those test results come back, which is usually 24 hours later, that is on the Wednesday morning, then normal training starts. Now, if you think about it, that places the coach under a huge amount of pressure because a coach only knows on Tuesday night, once they get the test results, what his team potentially could look like for the weekend. He then can only really tr plan his training session from that day from that moment onwards he's only in effect got two days he's got wednesday and thursday to train effectively before he has to taper down and get ready for the match weekend so um a high performance training week as teams were used to was not like that at all during COVID 19. teams had to adapt in order to fit the testing protocol in and also then um uh, do it in such a way that if there was a positive test, it had a small impact on the rest of the squad.